Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I am going to swatch and review some new goodies that I got sent in from Madame Glam and they have a new like chrome powder, holo powder collection which is called the candy collection so there are 10 different powders in total and I also got sent the no wipe top coat and um, in total 6 of the powders so we're just going to try them all out and see if I like them or not so for the non wipe top coat you just have to make sure to cure it for 30 seconds seconds for each um, layer it contains 15 milliliters and the regular price is about $19 so first up here are the powders that I received they all come in these little ziploc bags which is a big big plus in my opinion um, I did have some leakage from the no wipe top coat but I was able to get most of it off of the bottle and out of the package on forehand like before recording so yeah I'm just going to show you all the colors real quick so on the little ziploc bags there is the name of the color but the name of the color is on the cap of the little pot as well so I got a ton of beautiful shades and to be honest I've never really worked with these like nail powders or chrome powders or however you want to call them um, so this is kind of new to me so I'm really really curious to see how they work of course now I'm like recording this voice over I have already tried them out oh just look at that holo right there it is so gorgeous but um, of course as I said I'm recording this voice over later on so I already know how they apply and you will not be disappointed um, as I said I've never really worked with powders like this before so it was kind of like a first time for me trying it out as well especially on gels never done that before so if I'm able to do it like almost perfectly for the first time trying I am like sure that anyone can work with these powders but just a little information on forehand before I go in with all the swatches these regularly go for $18.99 in dollars but if you are a VIP member you get them for $9.50 in dollars that is um, and each little pot contains uh, 0.8 grams so it sounds like it's like nothing at all in there but I have to say that these pots are filled pretty like highly they're pretty stuffed <laughs> but yeah first up this first color is called luna and i am going to swatch all of these on top of a black so um of course by madame glam as well which is called perfect black which is pretty much one of my favorite black colors anyway it is completely opaque in like two thin layers and then madame glam suggests that you add the no wipe uh, top coat on top um, which I was like why would you add a no wipe top coat because it doesn't have a sticky layer but I think that's kind of part of the trick to add it on top of that and once you've cured everything you can go in with your powder so the first one we're going to look at is called stars it is such a gorgeous little like holographic oh my god it's really beautiful um, each little pod has this little like sealed thingy that you really have to peel off so I just took a pair of my old tweezers which is perfectly fine to get some glitter or powder on so yeah you just want to get rid of that little um, sealed thingy before you can go in um, I was told to apply with a sponge applicator like an eyeshadow applicator and I recently just bought a whole pack of like a hundred um, these are all dual sided or double ended or however you want to call them and you just want to dip in a little bit at a time and just press it onto the fully cured no wipe top coat and just rub it in of course you can always just press it onto there if you're more into like the flaky effect because this one uh, which is called stars has more of like a flaky effect than a full-on powder but I think it is just beautiful either way you apply it and as I said this is my first time trying it out so I'm just just trying it out for the first time together with you <laughs> and 
even though this was my first time trying it, just look at how easily that applied in just like half a minute, not even half a minute. I do feel like later on in the video you can always or also see me apply it with my finger and I feel like that works a little better but of course if you have like allergies or you can't handle that, I would just suggest to wear gloves and apply it with a eyeshadow um, thingy applicator. I was lost for words. But that was the first one already and this one is called Star. So that is more of like a flaky one which turns into a beautiful holographic kind of powder effect. Um, you could of course apply as much as needed or as you want but I feel like a little goes a very long way and especially on a black color like Perfect Black it just applies amazingly beautiful and you can really see the holographic effect. So the second one is called Estella and this one also has that little protective like sealed thingy so just get that off. Always try to do this with like a tool and don't use your nails on that especially your natural nails. You guys know me I only have natural nails and I only rock a false tip every now and then when I break a nail and I don't want to shorten everything else so please don't try to open it with your natural nails or false nails. Any other way it hurts if you break a nail. But this color is a beautiful more towards the powdery um, spectrum. The previous one was really flaky-ish and this one applied a little bit more easy as well or at least if you want to go for the full-on gold holographic effect. So yeah it is really easy to apply as you saw. I'm just going to get rid of any excess that hasn't gotten really like stuck onto the gel with just a fluffy brush. I just use an old um, blush brush, I think it was. So yeah, that was already this beautiful Estella color. It is a pure gold, super holographic and I pretty much love it. So after you have applied your powder or your chrome powder or whatever, you just want to go in with another layer of that no wipe top gel um, and just cure that for half a minute and your nail is completely done. You don't have any like sticky layer or residue to get rid of and yeah, there you go. Then the third one is also a gold one, but this one is called Luna and this has more of like the flaky um, like texture if I can call it like that. Um, I didn't really expect to be that many flakies in this collection because I felt like it is called like chrome powders or nail powders but I do have to say that I do like the fact that there are more flaky types in there because they do rub out really nicely. A little bit goes a very long way as you can see here and yeah you just want to rub it on and again the more you apply the fuller more rich the effect will be. Especially with these flaky ones, you just want to apply a little bit more in my opinion than what you would usually um, apply with the more powdery ones. But even though I really do like the effect and I feel like I could have applied a little bit more for this one personally because I felt like there still were some like patchy uh, spots. But yeah, this was just me trying it out for the first time. So yeah, I'm, I'm like still allowed to make some mistakes, right? I hope so. <laughs> but that is the full effect that Luna gave me for that first time applying it. I think I could have went in with a little bit more to make it more opaque, but I do like the fact that you can really see it like blow up in color because I applied it on top of a black. So that was Luna. Really pretty name as well by the way, but it's just a beautiful flaky gold holographic what's not to like. I really, really love it. I just think it is beautiful and I'm definitely going to add that on top of a gold gel polish once really soon. Um, here is just Estella and Luna compared to each other and you can really see that Luna is more of like a flaky um, finish, a little bit more rough, but really beautiful. The next one is Flamenco, which is my favorite after I applied this beautiful rose gold chrome powder. I was so in love, I just needed to like work with this on my own nails and I also did. So I am trying to um, edit the video which I use this 
powder in real soon so I can get it up somewhere next week so keep an eye out for that if you want to know how I applied it to my own natural nails on top of a gel and not on top of a black by the way I applied it on my own nails on a light pinkish color which also gave a beautiful effect but on top of black you really get the richness of the rose gold um, and a little bit of like a darker undertone now I compare it with um, the rose gold powder on top of a lighter color so I don't know which I prefer more but on top of a black it gives kind of like a vampy kind of rose gold effect as you could see it is super easy to apply you really don't need a lot of product and I just really love this one so this one is called flamenco it's a rose gold you can never go wrong with a rose gold either I think it is still like big on trend and everyone still wants rose gold nails so I think this would be really beautiful just to apply to one or two nails or even make like a gradient or ombre effect um, I just like it I think there are a lot of people who are going to love this color especially on lighter colors applied as well then I also have like an Aurora kind of shifting multicolored powder and this one is called Calypso I did uh, receive two of these kind of like sheen topper effect kind of powders I have no idea how to explain this but these really are super finely milled powders so be careful when you remove that sealed little thingy because it goes flying everywhere <laughs> which is not a big deal because I always have something like a kitchen towel underneath where I work but this one is so beautiful it seems to be like a white translucent kind of powder but the white just fully like evaporates I wanted to say but it doesn't really evaporate you just rub it in and the white glare um, is gone and you are left with a beautiful beetle like shine it's kind of like a purple going towards green and a little bit of gold as well it is such a beautiful intricate color I love it and you do want to make sure that you apply this one really evenly because if you have any bald patches or spots you can easily just spot that on the nail and that would be just such a waste but yeah you just want to make sure you apply that onto the cured layer and then just add another layer of that no wipe top coat as well but yeah Calypso I think this one is my favorite of the two like Aurora multi-chrome colors this just reminds me of like Egyptian beetles or something like that like um, in Dutch we call them scarabee I don't know how you pronounce it in English but I just think it is really beautiful and it just reminds me of some beetles but then the last one I received was Apollo 11 and this one is once again a white looking kind of super finely milled powder which gives a beautiful shine and just effect to the nail oh and I'm really sorry if you hear some cars like driving past um, on the background I am recording recording this at like um, 6 in the afternoon or more towards the evening and everyone is coming home but I just really have to record it right now because I want to go live and premiere this video with you later this evening so I only have this moment to record it so I'm really sorry if there are any background noises um, I try my best to be as loud as possible myself so you can hear me perfectly and not the cars as much but this Apollo 11 color gives like a beautiful light blue towards a medium purple kind of shift and it has tons of like small white silvery particles it is so beautiful I really can't wait to try this one out on top of like a mermaidy kind of teal color just to see what it looks like but for the sake of this first swatch and review video Video, I just wanted to apply every single color on top of the perfect black by Madame Glam just to show you how it looks on a black because a lot of you might want to apply it on top of a black to get the most rich effect but here you can see it has a beautiful purpley to bluish almost teal kind of effect or like a sheen glow I don't know how to explain it is just gorgeous but I just wanted to show you all of the little pots that I got so I just got a 
couple and I really really like them. I got six in total and I just swatched them all on the swatch sticks as usual. I really hope you don't mind that. I am going to um, make some more designs with these on my own nails. As I said, I also already used the flamenco color, which is the rose gold. I am going to edit that as soon as possible and going to work with some other powders on some other colors as well. So if you want to know how it looks on different kind of colors and different finishes and so on, like made uh, into another design, just keep an eye out for some new like gel polish designs as well. But this was already the entire video. If you have any questions or comments, you can always let me know in the comment section down below and I will get right back to you as soon as possible. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know which one is your favorite of these six in the comments down below as well. But thank you for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in the next video.